It is time to unbox the scroller box, October box. And this is what I found in my post box. The box that was smushed and opened. So it has been on some adventure while crossing the channel from Great Britain to France. I can only hope that everything that was supposed to be in the box is still there. And after the last month's disappointment when the box came very damaged and the materials broken, I am really worried now. The first thing that fell out of the box is this kneadable eraser. And I'm starting to get my hopes up because I've been wanting that for a long time. But let's put it aside for the moment and check the magazine and the color scheme. And I just had to compare because I am starting to get the feeling that Scrawler Box loves to repeat these three colors in their boxes. So a quick look through the magazine. There is an interview with the artist. Description of the materials, which I'm trying not to look at. Artwork from the people who received the box. And an article for inspiration. Let's have a look at the artwork. It is a beautiful doodle, zentangle style artwork by the featured artist, which is Alexandra Olivia. So it seems that this month's um, Scholar Books wants us to create something um, in a doodling style, which unfortunately is not close to my heart. I understand that it can be beautiful, but it's not my cup of tea. Okay, the substrate, the paper block, and Scholar Books has never disappointed me with their paper pads. They are always good quality, beautiful paper pads. And this time it is marker paper. So yay, we know that we will get markers in that mystery box, uh, mystery packet. But look at this. The paper is extremely thin. I was so surprised. I even have to check the, yes, it says 75 grams. Even my printer paper is 80 grams. Oh, and I have seen the 70 gram printer paper, but never the paper for artists. Ooh, we'll see how it will behave. The candy, which matches the color scheme of the box. That's a good point. And let's check the supplies and have a closer look. And here you see me battling the box. <laughs> I couldn't get it open. <laughs> Yeah, finally I got access to the eraser. And this eraser, I have it in my shopping cart in several art supply shops because I really wanted to get it. So I'm very happy that Scrollbox has given me this kneadable eraser. I love it that you can um, knead it in a very fine point and delete very small details without damaging the paper. And speaking about damaged paper, oh, oh, let's open this packet and get rid of this, oh, torn paper and have a look at supplies. There is a sticker. Uh, again, a description of the products. Uh, this month's challenge, which says out of the lamp. So we have to create something about our wishes, a genie. Uh, we'll see how it goes. You know that I always struggle to create something with the supplies provided because there are not many of them. <laughs> now what do we have here? We have a marker, a waterproof marker. And we have a pencil as always, a graphite pencil, but uh, look at this. This pencil has little like rubbery dots all over it for easy holding, for easy drawing. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. And it feels really good in the hand. And ho oh, ho, markers, and not just any markers, but the creme de la creme of the marker world, Copic markers. So three Copic markers, I do not own any so I'm very happy to add these to my collection. 
Copic markers do not need introduction, so I will just quickly swatch them to see the colors. The first yellow. And then I remembered something. I remembered that Scrollerbox sent us an email saying that the paper has been glued in the pad the wrong side up. So yes, it was soaking through the paper, so I had to turn the page and I colored the yellow marker again. And this time, yes, it doesn't bleed through to the other side. So despite being very thin, this paper does what it is supposed to do. And the last swatch is the wonderful bumpy pencil. <laughs> and I drew it on the paper very, very thickly, very, very richly, just to see if the era needable eraser gets uh, rid of the pencil marks. And it does. And it didn't damage even this very thin and flimsy paper. So my thought process was what to create something that we want, something that I would ask Jeannie beside the world peace. <laughs> then I remember that I just lost my very favorite shoes. You know that you have these shoes that look decent and are very comfortable and you can walk in them all day long. And mine just died. A hole in the sole. <laughs> of the shoes so I decided yes I would ask for a very comfortable shoes to a genie so I drew a pair of uh, walking shoes and this is what I noticed that the black um, aligner was not actually alcohol proof it says that it is waterproof but it is not alcohol proof so I actually I, I wouldn't say I ruined my yellow marker because the black uh, color doesn't come off, but I certainly have a black mark on my yellow marker now. So just a quick drawing as always with the materials included. And then I'm gluing the flimsy paper into my art journal. So this was the October's box. Very mixed emotions about the box. But the star of this box definitely is the Faber-Castell grip pencil, which was a joy to hold in my hand, a joy to draw with. <laughs>